Well, I don't understand why you're sweating. It's not like there's 48 people here. These are hard questions. No, I don't know. <laughs> it's going on the Instagram. Okay. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Just whenever. Coach, could you describe to me in a few words the 2023 season? The 2023 season, since we did not win a championship, you'd think it wasn't as impressive. But from my perspective as a coach, I thought it was the most impressive. Being short in players, being blindsided by illness and injury, and these kids did their jobs. They stepped up, they uh, did their jobs when they didn't expect to be playing as much. So I would say impressive. That would be my word for 2023. Um, I would say it was a developmental year, a growing year. Um, new conference, we lost one of our assets. Um, so we all just came together as a team and it was a big growing year for us. I think the biggest word that I would use is growth because a lot of our freshmen had to step into a role that they weren't necessarily prepared for. Last year was very exciting for us. We got a lot done with a season that we had no clue how it was going to go, whether we were going to, it was going to be a growth year or a redeveloping year. Yeah, I think the 2023 season was unexpectedly a building season for us, but I think we came out more on top than any of us could have expected. I mean, we had a great playoff run, one that ended not the way that we wanted, but we left us with a lot of like strengths coming into this new season to look forward to. The 2023 season, um, I'd say we faced adversity. Um, we had a few obstacles that we had to get through. Um, uh, There's a lot of growth. There was a lot of players that stepped up. For you, what was the standout moment last year? I think the most standout moment last year was when we were in Florida and we played Roger State. And uh, at the end of the game, we all got in a circle together and we prayed for Katie and her battle with cancer. Um, there's a lot of amazing moments that we had last year, but probably like the start of Florida, we went down and we had this very tough game against Roger State. But at the end of it, like came together in a circle and just kind of got to pray together, which is not something that you see all the time, especially in the North. So it's very different for us. But it was just that moment of being able to come together for one of our players, for Katie, and realize that like this game is so much bigger than just a game. It's about a community and everything else. So getting to come together for that. I would say when we split with Wilmington, um, we always have very competitive games when we go against them. And it just was a great feeling to finally come over on one. And uh, I'm excited to play them again, so. I think the fact that we won 30 games, not so much a moment itself, but just accumulation of great appearances from freshmen coming in and winning games to injured people, uh, just coming up big when we needed them. So I don't think it was one particular moment. I think it's the people that we asked to step up did just that. Um, even though we came up short because we were missing some key people, I think it showed a lot of spirit and a lot of guts and a lot of grit from the people that really wanted us to do well. One of the standout moments. Um, I think the fact that we won 30 games just in general um, and also making it to the semifinals. Now, being part of the coaching staff, what is maybe a team goal or a couple goals that you guys have set out for this program during the offseason? Um, during the offseason, definitely was trying to work hard to get ourselves ready to play at the highest level and come out number one in the CAC this year. I mean, it's our second year in the conference. We obviously made a statement last year, but we want to come out strong. We don't want that to be a one-time thing. I know it sounds repetitive, but we are, all our conference goals are always based on championships for conference. Um, we expect one every year. This program deserves that kind of respect now. And I believe that every year is a, let's see how much better we can do than previous. And that's always a goal. And with this team, it's definitely the goal this year. Now we have a few new additions to the program, you know, adding some depth. What are these new players, whether they're transfers or freshmen, what do they add to the program for this coming season? Energy, positivity. Um, they just help create a great environment, family-type environment. So 
They add a lot of competition to whether it's playing a game or whether it's just practicing. We always want to do better than the person next to us, but they really push us to really be the best version of ourselves on and off the field. What's great about these six people is that they're going to be impactful. Every once in a while when you bring in a class, there's kids that maybe, maybe they'll play, maybe these kids are going to be impactful for this season. And that's what I love about it. You know, we've got a couple older kids coming in that bring experience, and the younger ones played at a high level in their travel ball in high school seasons and won state championships. So they're going to contribute a lot to our success this year. Um, I think we have a lot of new people that are going to bring a lot of good stuff. Um, a lot of people have to step up, new people and people that we've had previously. Um, with Katie back, I think that's a big uh, plus for us. We have a lot of new faces between our four new freshmen and new transfers and a lot of new loud voices, which is really helpful. We definitely lost some loud voices last year, so getting those people that are ready to step in right away and kind of like take over, especially one of our freshmen, she kind of like came right in and just like anything we've asked of her, she does it and does it extremely well, so we can't ask for anything more. Now this is your 15th year. Yep. Why 15 years ago did you choose Bridgeport? <clears throat> That's a good question. Um, I came here with uh, the expectations of just starting to build something because it wasn't a very strong program. Um, and every year we got better. And every year we got better. And now we're to the point where, you know, people are coming to us because we're really good. And, um, I love to win, and these kids that we bring into this program love to win, and they're gritty, and um, we want to go to the next level. We want to go to the next level here, and I would, I would never leave here because we just brought so much great things, you know, from nothing to, you know, regional after regional, and, you know, I want to see this team go to the next level after that. I played here in my four years. I absolutely loved it, fell in love with the team, fell in love with the program, and when the opportunity presented itself to come back, I thought like there was no better place to start like a coaching journey than somewhere that gave me so much that I can give back what I can and learn so much from like an amazing co coaching staff that I got to play for. What does it mean to you to be part of Bridgeport Softball? I think to be a part of Bridgeport Softball is being a family. You know, there's people from all around the country, from California, New York, Texas, all over the world and we all have come together and bonded over softball. I'm proud to be part of Bridgeport Softball. Um, we work together and as a family towards our common goal. Um, Bridgeport Softball is about being something that's greater than yourself, about pushing yourself to the highest of your limits and making sure that if you don't feel that you can do the best, you have the people around you that are gonna push you, that can see your best and are gonna make you get there. Being on this team is like being part of a big family with a bunch of sisters and a bunch of parental figures. And um, it's not just about the game with this team. It's about just growing as people and learning, learning, so. It's everything, it's everything. Um, I came here uh, not realizing what was gonna happen and how close I got with the kids and just having one big family. And um, it's nice to have alumni come back and all of that and, and for the alumni to see how well we've done and support us. And now I have three kids on my coaching staff that used to play for me, which, I mean, speaks volumes for me, that they, they want to be a part of what we do at the next level. So I'm honored and I'm really, really excited for things to come. What are you most excited for in 2024? Um, in 2024, I'm most excited to just win. Um, I think we have a great team this year with a lot of heart and talent and we can go far. I'm most excited for winning over 30 games this year and having a run for the conference championship this year and going into regionals and wanting to win that. A conference title. That's what we're going for, so even more, but definitely the conference title. 2024, I am most excited for conference win. Just seeing everything that they've put all this work into for the past year and all like the hardships that they've gone through and come back together as a family and really built around themselves to propel themselves forward into this conference championship. CAC championship. That's the goal. It'll always be the goal. And uh, I know this team has a, a tremendous opportunity in front of them. And, you know, I have a little luck on our side. I think we're going to bring it home.